Lizards are some of the most common reptiles around, able to be found in a variety of habitats from deep in the wilderness to right outside your door. In this episode, I'll be catching some lizards that you might see around your house and explaining why they should be left alone instead of removed. So we're at the Whitewater Center right now. I haven't found any snakes or anything yet, but these are definitely, these rocks are full of, these are either juvenile five-line skinks or southeastern blue-tailed skinks. I do think that these are southeastern blue-tailed skinks just because I've seen some larger individuals that have retained the blue tail. So these are pretty cool lizards. These are all over the place. These are insectivores, so they're probably just sunning on these rocks and waiting for insects. Now after catching those skinks, I actually had the chance to collect some data on them for a really cool citizen science initiative called the Hurt Project, which I will cover in a later video. But today, I was on the hunt for the very quick and agile eastern fence lizard. Now fence lizards have rougher scales than most other species we have around here. Their scales are keeled, so they actually come to a little ridge in the middle, and what that does is, let's say I was a predator and I grab this, well, when I put him in my mouth, if I'm going this way, his scales are going to stick into me, into the roof of my mouth of my predator, which is really uncomfortable, obviously. Now, these also have a very different body shape than things like five-line skinks or six-line race runners we have around here. They're definitely built very differently. They're a little bit stockier. Kind of looks like an iguana. Kind of. In a way. And they have these really broad hands with these claws made for gripping things. So these can run on just about everything. They're really, really cool lizards. And this is a really pretty one as well. Very, very cool lizards. I'll show you just how fast these guys are. Come here. While that was a neat looking individual, I knew that we could find a more impressive specimen. And so I began searching for a male. All right guys, we have a fence lizard up in this tree. Now he's probably about 15 feet up there, but I've got to catch him. So I'm just gonna get the tree somehow. Ready to go, make an insane creature grab here. Oh, I see him. But yeah, he is there. Yeah, he's right there. Like on the. Got him. Ooh, that's a male. That's a really pretty male. He's actually missing part of his tail. Oh wow, he's gorgeous. Let me bring him down, guys. How high up was he? Like, well, what, you're, 15, 20 feet? You're about 15 feet up right now. Yeah. That's what we gotta do for future catches sometimes. Alright, now we got lizard on one hand. And you're jumping down with the other Oh, Alright. So that's another fence lizard, but this is a male. You know how you tell? Look at that. Look how pretty that is. There's the gorgeous iridescent blue teal color there, there, and there. The males have that color to attract mates. Now this one actually has detached part of its tail at some point in time as a defense from predators, which is another thing these lizards will do. And luckily it wasn't in response to me. He'd already lost his tail. That's maybe why I was able to catch him because he was a little bit slower from that, a little less balanced in that tree. But you see the males, unlike the last lizard, they have that really gorgeous accent right there. I love that. There's no other lizards in the state, I think, that have that really iridescent blue color on their scales like that. Really, really cool. I actually take a picture of him. Now, he's not very happy right now. These things will bite you. They don't really enjoy being handled. But they're really cool lizards. They're really gorgeous. I can take some pictures of that blue. We'll get him right back in this tree. Now, what, also, fence lizards, whew, they're insectivorous, just like all the others we've talked about today. And they are extremely, extremely quick. And these claws just let them scurry up any rock, tree, wood, anything to catch insects. It's really cool. Many people who have a population of lizards living in or around their house choose to exterminate them, either using a professional service or glue traps to catch and eradicate the animals. However, if you do have lizards in your garage or attic, they are doing more good for you than harm. While their droppings can be a pain to clean up, lizards will act as a natural bug control for your residents, as consuming unwanted guests such as cockroaches is their specialty. Well Team Wildport, I really hope that you enjoyed that video and that you learned something new about lizards. 
Remember to subscribe right now for new wildlife content coming every Thursday morning, and follow my social media pages for daily updates on my adventures. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.